So we're just gonna go straight into what the warm up is. Okay, so your warm up movements today, there's three of them. The first one is just simply what's called a butt kick. You did this on movement day one, where you're running on the spot, except your focus is to actually get your uh, heels up to your butt on your run. So Chris is just gonna like start bouncing. He's got his hands there as a target, you can do that. Okay, you can do it without, but uh, it just keeps it a little bit easier initially, so you know you're getting to the right height, and then you can let your arms relax and you start pumping your arms, okay? So it's just nice and straightforward. You can turn around face the camera, Chris, so everyone knows what that looks like. It's nice and light on his toes, big chest, eyes looking forward. What a surprise, we've said that before. Okay, so that's your butt kicks. Second one is what we call a grasshopper. Okay, so it's not dissimilar from the mountain climber which you did last week. So you're gonna go down into that push-up or plank position. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your opposite knee, the opposite elbow, and you're gonna cross it over, alternate. Okay, so Chris is doing that very nicely. Got a good mobility through there so you can get those knees all the way up to his elbows. Okay, again, the key thing here is to make sure that back stays nice and level, nice, nice and flat. Most of the movement is strictly coming from your lower back and your hips. Okay, good. Third one we're doing is lunges. It's just a lunge in place. <clears throat> so Chris is just going to start up. Lead leg comes forward. Just stop there for a second. Chris, now what you notice on the lunge. Big chest, eyes looking forward. His knee is right over his ankle, which is exactly what we want on the lunge. And if you notice on the back side, that knee and that leg is at 90 degrees. So we've got this leg's at 90 degrees, that leg's at 90 degrees. That's your knee. Okay, so just do a few more. Chris, do three more just so people see what that looks like. Good. Okay, and he's going to do a few facing the camera. Key thing is, just stop there for Chris. Key thing on this is make sure that the line the line on the left leg is following a separate line to the one on the right. You do not want to be doing these on a tightrope, okay? Because it's about keeping that balance, that structure. Because this will translate into when you're doing various movements with a bar and a weight on your, uh, above your head. Okay, thank you, Chris. Awesome.